Okay, we are live. All right. Hello, everybody. Bob says this is as pretty as it gets. So this is it. What, I did what, say that. What you get. This is all you got. Yep, yep. Suck it up. Hey, Mike. Uh, Grasshopper. So we only have a few people in. I'm not sure how many people are um, going to be here today. Night. I haven't actually heard from anybody, so I don't know if Skipper's probably not coming or he'd be here already. Ed, I hope, is resting. I assume that's what's going on. I told him he's welcome to come in and talk about the show, but I really don't want him to if he's tired, and I got a feeling he's probably wore out if he did go to that show today. If he got home in time and took a nap. You know, he does naps now. now. So he might. Yeah. I'm not going to message him like I usually might. I'm not going to do yeah, that. I haven't heard from um, Dr. Black and Sarah at all, so That's I fine. assume they might show up later. I don't know. It's hard to say. I came for Sarah. Or for hell. Well, what the hell. So anyway, hi, Grasshopper. Hi, Chewy. And Mike. And it looks like that's all that's here right now. It's a good time to say the greetings, you know it, before anybody gets in. Yeah. So I've got, um, I had one drawing I was working on, and I accidentally got it wet. So I started working on a little tiny one, which I'll probably have done before the end of the stream. I'm yeah. probably going to, since there's only a couple people in here, I'm probably going to do a, hi bunny. I'm probably going to end up doing a, a stream like either tomorrow or the next day because my rent's due. Uh, I need to make a little bit more to pay my rent. I just got the notification just then, so people might still be getting mad too. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to put, I'll put the link in the chat if anybody wants to come up because I hate to start working on my drawing and leave Bob all by himself because I have a tendency to get very quiet while I'm working. It doesn't I get quiet if I'm in here. here. What the Anthony hell? Can come up if he wants to. I don't know if he, I didn't send Priscilla a link because I think I think Anthony said he was going to be here this weekend, so I assumed that I wouldn't see either one of them. But maybe it's next weekend. I don't know. Well, that reminds me, I need to look on my porch and see if those fish came, Anthony. I haven't been watching the tracking. I've been watching the door. Hmm. Uh, you should either track it or, or check and see if they came. You don't want to leave them sitting out there. Well, they weren't out there four or five hours ago, and it's 70-something degrees, so I'll go look. I wonder if, uh, never mind. I just thought of something. Oh, I should like, I'll pin that link up to the top if anybody wants to come up there. Are welcome to, because it's probably going to be a quiet night with that show going on and everything. Well, there's not that many people that, that were at that show that come here. Ed's the only one, I think. I watched like three of the live streams, and don't you know, every one of the one I went in, I was a moderator on. Huh. James and Ed and... Hey, Sarah. Christopher. Hey, Christopher. If you want to come up, you can, Christopher. I put the link up at the top there. Um, I'm going to start drawing here pretty soon, and Bob's going to be, like, talking to himself. I, too. Is that how you would pronounce that? I am not sure. Damn, you're so wrong. But I'll have a cigarette and see if anybody wants to come up. I hate to leave Bob like trying to entertain you all while I draw. I could entertain him, trust me. Well, that's kind of scary just in itself. It's a late night show. I missed it. I missed it, Brenda. Hey, Anthony. If I try to pronounce that name with my Tennessee dialect, I'm going to choose young. 
think there's something silent there that I should Yeah, see, I just, I'm not sure, and I don't want to, like, horribly butcher his name. And I thought you were gone. Yeah. Hey, Patrick Hardy. Oh, you're at a car dealership? Okay. You guys are well. Who's at a car dealership? Christopher. Oh, that means something. You must be shopping. Yeah. Hey, Joseph. Just Hey, okay. I'm kind of old. Oh, it's my drawing light. I'll turn it off until I finish my cigarette. What, uh... Makes everything all locked out. But my hair was greasy. Oh, well. Um... Mike ought to come up. He hasn't had to be... I mean, Mike hasn't had the pleasure of coming up lately. Yeah, Mike. Um... He yeah, show us. I pin I pin the link if anybody wants to come up. Mike, you could come up. He could show us his new Patrick, story. hi, you could come up, Patrick. Patrick's done been here for thirty minutes. Oh Lord. Oh. oh my good work. I kinda knew it'd be slow. I should have liked well, you know, Benny might still be going. I was over there till about 30 minutes ago, and they were just getting going good. Ah, okay. Just BSing, but it was fun. They were talk, <laughs> talking about old people stuff, so, hey. You would have fit right in there, Pam. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was low fruit. I, had to. I was working on a drawing and then I'd like um, decided I needed to um, take a wet rag and wipe off my keyboard on my table my desk so I did tell her I did that her. and I set the wet rag down on top of the drawing I did fit in very well Joe Stan I was one of the stars of it actually because of my life experience it was just ask me anything. I didn't see your email, Patrick. She's he's talking about the one I copied and pasted to you. Oh, okay, yeah, I I did see that. She said but, thank she would thank you, Patrick. Yeah, thank you very much. I saw him the other day when you had a a false stream yesterday, when you had a stream pop up that said private stream, and then we were just in the chat talking. Oh, the one that yeah. Yeah. I must have accidentally hit go to Facebook because I had a private uh, stream last night and tonight. There are future guests coming on. So. <clears throat> you can come up, um, Grasshopper. I've never seen your face before. You could come up and say hi. As long as you have your <laughs> <on. laughs> But yeah, right. Patrick, Patrick is the best. He is the best. Well, you understand what happened, right? Yeah, he was going to buy some fish from you and you wouldn't sell them, so instead he's going to send um, well, no, not, money not to me, which he would have paid, which is just wonderful. Oh, Not, uh, not exactly, no. He Joseph, was, um, I don't want you up if you're stuck on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly, no. I was doing a live stream at a store and bought him some fish. Oh. And I'm going to, yeah, they're not free fish, not fish that I was going to, but he insisted on paying me for what I spent, and I said no, and he kept on, so I said, we're well, just super chat paying. That's what happened. Okay, I thought that, I just, for some reason, thought that you were, actually, I thought that he was going to end up buying some of your platies, because I know he likes No, you've them. got, they're very out of shape. Oh, yeah. Nice. You've got skipper mixed up in it. Because I did send Skipper some platters. Oh, okay. That's, that's what. Hi, Kirby. When you kept saying, "Tell Patrick," I said, "Thanks." I'm like, "What the hell are you thinking, Patrick? It's my money." But whatever, Patrick feels awesome. Now. Get down. Bob, I didn't hear if you said anything. 
got a package yet today. I didn't get up yet. I'm afraid to turn my back on Pam. <laughs> hey, GRB. I'd be afraid to turn your back on that cat. She keeps turning her back on me. I'm going to knock her out. I don't care if she gets <laughs> over. Anthony, you want Bob to talk about his package? Or are you waiting to get the package from um, Anthony, the fish, the convicts? Yeah, that just made me throw up my chocolate a little bit. <laughs> I, hey, I, I, Big tank, hey. Pam, PayPal. I told him not to pay that much for him because I thought you were getting a little too much, but he likes you, so I don't know why. Big Tank Hank. It seems like. It yeah, seems if, you, um, if you send like money through PayPal, you need to like do it through your friend, friends and family or they take a chunk out of it. Patrick, just send it to me and I'll handle all that for you. What about Anthony? <laughs> okay. Priscilla, did you want to come up? I didn't send you a link because I thought you and Anthony were together this weekend. But if you are not busy, you could certainly come up and draw with me. I'm just kind of waiting for a few people to come up so I can like start drawing. I know, Patrick. Pam, I'm going to be a guest on a live stream coming up. Are you? Yeah. Who, who's the idiot? I mean, who, who's a nice person? <laughs> They're in the chat. You better be nice. <laughs> They're in the chat. You better be nice. Name calling. Anthony's package is here, so they are together. Bob and Anthony's packages. This went sideways way too quick. I don't even have coffee. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe it is. I'm all confused. Are you drawing, Pam, or what? I got one sitting here that I'm going to finish a cigarette and start working on. I was just waiting to see if anybody was going to come up before I got busy being quiet. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, there's Priscilla. Yay, Priscilla. Hi. How's it? Anthony's here. My fish room's a mess. Anthony's with you. I gotta top off some stuff. Let's see. Oh, so, Pam, Anthony pulled this out of Poudre River today. You know what this is? I see roots. Yep, yeah, it's definitely roots. Looks like roots from something. Like some sort of weed. Does it have anything attached to it? Oh, I can hardly hear you guys. Does it have anything attached? Uh -oh. Can I close all the apps? There we go. I still hardly hear you guys. Me, I can guess because I'm such such a genteel person. There, I hear myself. That ham's mouth, you can hear that. Oh, there we go. Now, let me show what I wanted to show. Oh, that's Anthony. My guppy. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. Hey. What's going on, guys? Not much. I'm going to start drawing here in a minute, so everybody needs to, like, talk. <laughs> She's been like, so talk. I'm, not, I'm not very good at, like, if I get concentrated on my drawing, I can, I listen, but I'm not very good at, at talking. Well, I'm the same way, like, when, I, when it comes to doing artwork, like, if I'm focused on it, I'm that's what I'm focused on, you know? Yep, exactly. 
Well, maybe and I kinda, I, I'm going to start here in a minute because I want kind of want to get this one done before the end of the stream. It's just one of the little cards. And I've got it about half done, so. I'm well, doing a, I was going to figure one, but I accidentally set a wet, wet paper Maybe towel that. on it. So I got it like between two paper towels trying to get it dry. It doesn't hurt the paper any, but it's got, I can't, of course, draw when it's wet or I'll just tear the paper. Yeah. So what do you got going on? Not much. It's just uh, did a couple water changes on some of the... The breeding tanks and hanging out, getting just getting over being sick from COVID. Oh, you so. you got the um the Omicron one where you, it's like a bad bad cold. Yeah, I've I've had uh, for the last couple of days I've had you know trouble breathing, coughing, everything just hurting more than you can imagine, and uh, my uh, eighteen month old son has it too. Oh, and now is my, okay? my wife just tested positive today. Oh, crap. <laughs> the one good thing about it is the Omicron, from what I understand, gives you a very high level of immunity from any other one that comes down next. Yeah. So that part is good because I guess that the antibod antibodies from the Omicron are really good. Yeah, we're just we're we're hoping that our you know our eight week old son doesn't get sick too. Oh so, man, oh man, that would be awful. So like I, I'm you know I'm downstairs in the fish room. I don't have a mask on, but up, upstairs in the house, you know, I'm wearing a mask and everything. And uh, but it's been a that's, rough few that's days. That's one thing that they've kind of figured out that they didn't have figured out earlier is that. The chances of getting it off of, like, I remember, remember when it first started and um, they had the lockdown and I was, like, washing off all my groceries and everything, you know, all the packaging, I'd wipe off and stuff. And I guess that it's mostly airborne. You don't really have to worry about it so much on objects as you do yeah. with it just being in the air. And that's the thing is, like, I... uh I, I do union work. I work for Local 14, which is a stagehand union. So I do stagehand work, uh, you know, setting up shows and stuff at arenas and everything. And uh, the last show I did was uh, WWE. I did the loadout for it. And there's, I think there's like 15 or 20 guys that are sick with COVID right now from that were woke in that show. Did not skip her. Yeah, with somebody, somebody at that show had COVID and yeah, that's right. A lot of people. Somebody at that show had it. Yep. Pam Skipper said good night. Good night, Skipper. Have a good night, and I hope you feel better. How you doing, Bob? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Doing you much that, better. You said that about the stagehand. I wish I'd met you 40 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> One cup of coffee. Yeah. Things might have been different. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an upbringer or a forklift operator for the stagehand union. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so you must like get everything set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm when I'm when I'm working as a rigger, I'm you know. Some of the arenas, I'm off, you know, 114 feet off the floor on a 18 inch wide steel beam. <laughs> that you know. doesn't sound good to me. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> but that would not be the job for me. Yeah. Pam, would you take all that money and get up on that big thing that Michael Jackson had to get on that goes out over the stage? Would you do that? Nope. Not even for a million dollars? Nope. Well, I might be able to force myself to because actually I am terrified of heights. I mean, I am really terrified of heights. My knees start shaking and everything. So is he. And um, when my kids were little, we were really broke. And they were advertising for um, temporary work for um, driving a 
pea combine, like that pick peas. And those things sit up high. I mean, they're like two stories high and you're sitting up there in this little seat with a little, with bars around it, you know, like not even a cage, just like handrail things around it. And um, I went and applied because we needed the money. I needed, I needed, really wanted that extra work. So okay. I went and applied and we had to, we even to apply, you had to climb up and they talked to everybody at the top of this machine. And you had to climb up on a ladder that was like flush against the machine. It wasn't like a sloping ladder. It was like on the side of the machine, like straight up. And um, I did it. Uh-oh. Um, who disappeared? Bob, Bob disappeared. Okay. So anyway, so I applied and I got the job. And every day when I climbed up that ladder and when I climbed down, I was terrified. Once I got up there, I was like really nervous, but I didn't stand up and move around at all. I just stayed there, right? Well, when you're driving a combine like that, if you get a weed in the auger, it has like an auger in the front going around that like tears up the pea, pl pea plants and all the peas go down, you know, from the auger, they go down through this tube and then up into the top where they get like separated. And then you, every once in a while you stop, if it fills up, you stop and unload it into a truck. But um, if you got a weed in that auger, it would plug it up and you had to get down off the machine and unplug the auger and then climb back up the machine. And I am not even exaggerating or kidding. I became the best driver really fast. And the reason that I became the best driver really fast is because I did not want to get down off that machine and climb up it again. So I, when I'd see a weed coming up, I knew it what, figured out real quick what angle they hit it at so it wouldn't plug up the auger. So, like I said, I was their best driver really fast just because of the fact that I was so terrified of getting on and off that machine that I wasn't going to plug that auger up and have it have to keep going down and unplugging it. <laughs> oh. But I made it all the way through it. I almost um, quit. The, I had like two days left. And um, <coughs> the the um, I don't know if he called the crew boss traveled with them and then they'd hire people everywhere they went but the crew boss like lost his temper about something and he took it out on me and he was screaming at me and screaming at me and I was pissed because I didn't do anything to deserve to get screamed at and I was going to like finish up that night and leave and not come back the next day and he after a while he left and when he came back, he climbed up on the machine with me and stood there talking about the weather being nice and isn't that pretty over there and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I know this type of person. This is the closest he's going to come to an apology to me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I kind of, I went ahead and finished my last couple of days, but yeah, my dad was like that. So I knew that that was that was his one and only way of apologizing so i let it go but yeah like i say i i became their best driver just because i'm so terrified of heights so i, I did to do that so for a million dollars i might be able to do it again but then I, i'm a lot older now and maybe not <laughs> could i use that story pam can you use that story right for what? Well, not anything bad, like kind of soft porn, except the apology part. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Bob. That stuff sells big. I mean, I've heard that stuff sells big. <laughs> Could you tell up what I was pointing at, Kenny? No, I was, was going to ask see. you. Now you can't see because I moved it. It's a box. It? It's a box. It was on my steps. It said live fish. 
Oh, oh nice. you, got, you got the box? I've got the box, ma'am. Then you need to open it. Well. If you do an opening, I'll switch it over to you. When you're kidding. When you're ready. You're kidding. Then I'll do it then. Okay. Well, the other one. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll I'll like make you big while you open the box. I'm not letting you blow me up. Because you never let me blow you up. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You yes, always, I do. You always say, oh, hell no. No, no, no. Damn it. Oh, oh man. No. I hope this isn't bad. This is my first time ever shipping ever. Oh, it looks real good so far, Anthony. I can read it, but look at this craziness right here. Oh, no. But right. it looks like the styrofoam's still intact. I would show the top of it as I open it, but I want him to get my address. It, it looks like that would be the part that you would want damaged, honestly, though. Well, if that was the as far as one, how I put the bags in. Right. Well, if that was the oh yeah, I see what you're saying. That might have been the bottom though when they did it, but still, it shouldn't matter. Gotcha. I hope nobody's grieving over not seeing me fight these bell scissors on this tape. Anthony, you've had Pam's packaging course, cash course, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they tore the whole box loose. That side's torn loose. But the tape kept it together. Oh, the box is mashed in. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think the fish are okay. That box filled awful much. Nope, the styrofoam was pushed in, but the bags didn't rupture. The box is dry. I turned my lights off. Oh. That will do the best we can. So that's where it was torn. And the styrofoam was pushed in. Oh well. We got a swimmer. All right. I can't see what y'all are seeing because I'm too lazy to turn it around. All right. One. What's Another in the box? Swimmer. Huh? It, what? What are these? Convicts. Oh, nice. What everybody wants. Now these are special in the fish fam. They belong to a guy named Nathan. Did you know Nathan? I don't think so. Oh, those are the shrimp, I think. They are shrimps. They sure are. Oh, wow. There's some orange neos. Yeah, I can see. Y'all can't, but I can. Yeah, there's like three or four in there. They're alive, too. He was... Uh, a guy that Ed used to scream with back when Ed was a little bitty channel. He's another convict. Like two years ago, exactly two years ago. And yeah. uh, he was born with renal disease. But anyway, he lived, I don't know, Nathan was 50. I don't know, maybe more than that. But he kept fish. He was in the fish fam. And he always did the late night streams. And he was real supportive of everybody. And But he had a little uh, ball pipe on when he passed. So Ed and James went over there to get his tanks uh, and break them down and nobody in the family wanted them. And so they went to take care of his animals, his fish and stuff. And nobody wanted the snake over there. And I think Priscilla's one that volunteered to take him and I volunteered. And so they brought him back to me and the convicts back to me. Mm -hmm. So I sent Anthony some convicts and kept three, I think. And I've got one big male left. And Andy, Aunt Andy, Andy's sending me, <laughs> Anthony's sending me convicts back now. And we're keeping them. Changed his name, Priscilla. 
There's something in here. Hold on. Oh, hang up. Hang up. Hang on. So, those fish are, have a lot of nostalgic value. Well, I could get some fry from them. I think they're the convicts that won't breed. This is a plant. I hope. It's a moss, I'm betting. How's that drawing coming, Pam? What's that? How's that drawing coming? Well, I'm working on it. Okay. Oh, I do it's, it's coming. Oh, it's nice. I, I try not to rush anything. Look at this. But I'm sure I'll be done with this one before the stream's over. Okay, good deal. They're, um, watch it. They're assassin it. snails, Bob. They're what? Assassin snails. Are they? Puffer scream. Did you hear that? All the puffers scream. Throw them in the trash. No, you throw them in their tank. I know, but my puffers, I grow uh, snails for the puffers. They'll eat other things, though, besides snails. I have some tanks that I don't want to grow snails in, so that's where I'll spread them out. I've got three tins. They have other things in them, but they are just to grow snails. I can have them killing off them. How many are in here? There's like a dozen, a bunch of them. Wow, I got fish, and I got snails, and I got shrimps. I gotta decide where to put those shrimp. There's a bunch of snails here. I hear y'all talking like every other word. All right, that's all of them. No, oh, there's another. One. Thank you so much. I've never had a sesame snails, really. Awesome. I gotta count them. There's 18 that I counted. Well, now did these shrimps come from your place, Anthony? Yeah, they came from my place. Look at them go. From Priscilla's stock. Look at them go. Well, for, by, by way of Priscilla stuff. Yeah. Look at them go. Zoom. Zoom. On the rack, I decided to set up six tens for Neo Caradina. So I'm going to be getting them all from her. There's some little shrimplets in there, too. Is there a fry of something in there? I think I put six in there. But is there a fry of some kind of fish? I hope not. There is. Some little bitty bitty tiny fish. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's like it's just born or, or born before it started out. I'm not sure it's alive, though. I don't know what it could be. I don't know. Maybe they've got a little, uh, a little farm factory, these shrimps. Kim, you can take me down. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's a nice I'm still here. I'm just feeding some fry right now. You what? I'm still here. I'm just feeding some fry. Oh, I'd love to see them if Pam would blow you up bigger than a postage stamp. But she won't. Yes, I will. Just give me a chance. 
Oh, that's that tank that's so cool. There's no fry in there, I don't think. Hmm. I weren't expecting shrimps. Shrimples. Hmm. Oh, I know where I'll put these. <coughs> Santa Maria's. Yeah. I can't bother them. Oh, you got me all big and stuff. Yeah. I had to get her while she was weak. She would agree to do it. I just put some uh, grind shrimp in here with these guys. You're feeding yeah. live grind shrimp, right? Yeah. Yeah. So these are some of the rainbow shiner fry. I've got more in here. These are little ones. They're only about seven days old, I think. I'll show you guys the new fish I just got. Yeah. My my breeding rack. So all, all these fish in here I'm working on breeding. Of course the uh the rainbow shiners. They are so yeah. pretty. These are uh mountain red bellied dace. Oh wow. Which they like they, they look really nice now, but if you look up what they you know, what they look like when they're breeding, they're you know, night and day. And these are saffron shiners, which again, you know, they look they look cool now, but once they start breeding that, that green stripe down their side turns like a gold yellow and it wraps around their head and the rest of their body turns bright red. The new fish, which these are um, Piedmont shiners, which are uh, undescribed subspecies of red lip shiners. Oh, wow. Hmm. And then, like you see, you can see the gold on their head. So their their head and fins turn yellow with a yellow stripe down their body, and then the rest of them are red when they're you know, when they're breeding. Which I just did. Uh, these are the guys in the unboxing video that I I posted the other day. You can see they're all doing really well. Yeah, they look good. And those are all cold water fish. Yeah, they're all you know North American natives, so they can right. withstand temperatures down to just just above freezing. Wow. It's like my my one eighty that's always behind me. That that tank in the winter time gets down to like forty eight degrees. Yeah, so these are the new guys. We've got uh, 25 of them. This is how I breed them. You know, it's, uh, all of these fish are nest associates, so they, they breed over top of creek chub nests, and creek chubs build mounds out of rock. So what I do is I just build this little, con you know, take this little container with some plastic canvas on it and put a little pile of rocks over top of it, and they'll they'll spawn over top of the rocks and then all the eggs will fall down through the canvas into the container. So wow. I can move the eggs and put them into my fry grow out. How often do you take that up? And empty um, they, once I notice that they're actively spawning, I'll do it 
um, every week. I'll check. But it, so as soon as I notice that they're actively spawning, the next day I'll pull it out and and get the eggs out because I know that they won't they won't have another um, another spawn for about a week or so. But you know, I'll probably I'll probably check it every day because there's a lot of them in here, so they can spawn at different times. But with my my rainbow shiners, I can see in the container to see if there's eggs in there. Right. So anytime I see eggs, I just pull the container out, pull the eggs out, put the container back in after I wash it. Another thing, I got I to gotta hook up new lights on, on top of these tanks here. Yeah, they're really nice too. I'm looking to get some uh, some blue nose shiners to start breeding those. And there's another tank. These guys are cool. This little guy in the middle there. Okay. They're uh northern hog suckers, but they're you know, they're tiny little babies. They're only about two and a half inches right now. Oh wow. Northern hog suckers? Yeah. Some of these names are really cool. This guy in the in the foreground here, that's a fan tailed well, that's a a creek chub, a blue head chub. But this guy on the bottom, that's a fan tailed darter. And this guy that's blending in is a tessellated darter. Now, have you caught some of them yourself, or all? Actually, all of these were collected um, about two weeks ago in Virginia. Oh wow! So there you go. That's awesome. Yeah, these are Roanoke darters. That guy, you know, popping right there. Such a pretty fish too. When they get that iridescent blue green on the sides when they're in full breeding and got tangerine orange to them. Oh, I can nice. yeah. This pectorals look longer than sun darters, I've seen. Yeah. yeah. And the guy in the background that's swimming up the glass, that's a mo modeled sculpin. It's weird. Ooh, right there. The river weed starter. Oh, that guy is really pretty. Yeah, that's the that's the Roanoke darter. That's one of the males. Him, you should get some pictures from Kenny and draw some fish. Yeah, I yeah, should. Gotta, I've been wanting to get some native fish pictures done by her. And I, I actually said that I was going to take some pictures and send them to her, but I, I just haven't gotten around to it. Well, I absolutely wouldn't mind doing them. Yeah, so all of these guys were collected from Smith River. It's a, the river in uh, southwest Virginia. Look at this. One. This is a. Actually, both of these tanks are going to be the same biotope. Um, this one's the left or right side of the river bank, depending on what side you're looking at it. And then the other tank will be the other side of the river bank. And, uh, the wall behind them, I'm cutting a hole in the wall so you can view these tanks from the other side. You'll see, like looking at looking at the wall from the other side, you'll see both both sides of the riverbank, like cutting down into the middle. I 
muted that my mic, a, and then that's the question. Cool looking tank, I gotta say. Is that a twenty nine gallon? Yeah, it's, a, it's this is a twenty nine gallon. Yep, they're both twenty nines. Then these are all twenty longs. It's all this is all locally collected hardscape like the sand and the sand and dirt and everything in there. There's a there's a dirted layer underneath the sand. This guy's cool though. Like he, how how well he blends in with the sand is just amazing. Me sometimes. Now is that sand from where they're collected, or? Uh, it's the same same type of sand. It's it's not actually from there though. Like it's a it's a super fine grain sand. But it's amazing how like not skittish most of these fish are for being wild two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Like they've they've already learned that I'm a food source, so anytime I come up to the tank they're like, Hey, food. What kind of water parameter is it? I think I asked you that before, but if I did I forgot. Um, so the pH is seven, uh, 7.6. The last time I checked it, um, water temperature right now is 60, 61.3. Uh, I'm not sure about like KH and stuff. I don't, I don't check that stuff most of the time, but, uh, yeah. um, zero, zero nitrites, uh, zero nitrates right now. Which, I, because I don't have plants in here, I'll have to do water changes quite often to keep the nitrates down. Is it a sponge filter? Yeah, it's one of the uh, the yeah. dual. Yeah. The big Amazon Basics dual sponge filters. In this tank here. Like some uh, plexiglass that I cut myself to make the tops. I can do a little cut out here for this drift that's sticking up. Because I didn't want to cut the drift in case I use it for something else. Right. <laughs> yeah, I like those guys. But I'm excited to work with these guys. To see them all colored up and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so this is this is that wall. So there'll be two cutouts here and here, and you'll be able to see those two twenty nine gallons from this side of the wall. Oh nice. Of course, this tank, which is looking really good. Like I, I love how all the plants are. Are growing in and everything. Yeah, that's a cool looking tank. I mean, really a cool looking tank. Yeah. You gathered those plants out in the wild too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So in here is, uh, uh, you know, of course there's uh, hornwort, which is primarily the plant all over the place. And then Potomagee and Robinsai, which is this this plant here, it's uh, Robin's Pondweed is the common name. I like that. 
I just I just yeah. love that whole tank and I love the way it's lit up to where there's like a bright spot and dark, you know, off into the yeah. shadows and stuff. Yeah. Like, that is just the neatest tank. <clears throat> what is that dark in the back, straight back in the middle? Is it plants or it's straight back here? Yeah. Where it's there? Right there. There's just a piece of driftwood and some plants and then the back of the tank is painted black. I got you. Okay. And then you've got, you know, glare right here from the breeding tanks. But <laughs> hmm. No, it adds a lot of depth to it. A lot of yeah, it does. And the yeah. light the lighting is just like so cool. Yeah, it is. Okay. It it just makes you think of being in a pond, you know, looking down in a pond. Man, I could I'll tell you this though, that this this log here was a bitch to get in this tank. Oh, <laughs> That's pretty good. Was it already waterlogged? Uh, no. So, the first time I put it in here, um, I used expanding foam to attach it to the bottom of the tank. And it, it worked for about a day and a half. And then the expanding foam released from the bottom of the tank and the log plopped up and Oh, no. Just wait and shit. And then, uh, give me a second. I'll plug my phone in. Hmm. And then, uh, so I, you know, I drained the tank and took it out, took the log back out, and then had to attach a couple pieces of slate to the bottom of the log and try to put it back in. So not only was it hard getting it in the first time, but the second time it had two, you know, 18 by 20 inch pieces of half inch thick slate drilled to the bottom of it and it made it that much more difficult to get it to get it back in oh no but i managed i managed to do it without scratching the glass or anything so it looks great thank you so yeah that's it. i'm gonna flip back around on my face now Showing them. Yeah, no yeah, I love your tanks. Absolutely love them. Thanks, guys. Grant's Humphrey's Humper, you don't have to speak Latin. If you can do pig Latin, you can keep fish. I was just feeding my king snake. Oh, oh, oh I'm pretty. Look at him. He looks like he's ready to eat. He's just a baby. I'll give him another one. I can't keep fish because learning Latin is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can still. Oh, he's so cool. You can do pig Latin. Was that a king snake? Yeah, California king snake. Yeah. I'm not going to ask Pam to blow it up where I can see it because she'll get tested. Oh, sure. Bob, that was one I was telling you about. You need to get some glasses, Bob. I've got them. Bye, Pofos. <laughs> yeah, that's the one Anthony was talking about. I wonder if Mike's still in here watching that. He's <laughs> Can you talk about that beneficial encourage things I got? I was gonna put one of those plants in there. Hi, Billy. I would get that house snake out, but we have to move some fish. I just set this tank up not too long ago. It's nice. I love the rocks in that for sale. This ramble. Oh, hey, buddy. Rambo. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this. Oh. You don't mess with my mom. Oh. So I bought these plants. Artificial plants. <coughs> they look pretty good. What is the one on the back? Yeah, that. 
it's supposed to be a Monstera replica, I think. It has like this. Yeah, yeah. Face. Now, are those hairy poles in the background to tie the plants to? No, this well, this one has like a suction cup or something. Rambo, get off me. I, actually, I was making a joke about Anthony's legs. I got it. <laughs> oh, Anthony's legs. That one with the suction cup I've got in one of my snake habitats. I like it in there. In the suction cup. Yeah, hello. Yeah, this one has a suction cup. Yeah, hi. Yep, that's the exact one I've got. I'm going to do a quick of my guppies. Check my guppies out. <laughs> what is that moss? Um, what's the moss down there? There's too much different types of moss in there. It's like all intermingled. Hey, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to run upstairs for a second. Okay. Yep, Priscilla said there's a lot of different types of moss that's all intermingled now. I was just trying to get you in trouble, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Wait, that one may be longer. Yeah, that's about twice the length of the one I got. Yeah. With the ball? Mm-hmm. They do look real, don't they, Patrick? The fake plants are getting more and more and more realistic looking. I remember years ago, fake plants, you could spot a fake plant, like, from two rooms away, and now they're they're really realistic looking. You even got veins in there. Yeah. Wow. Do we want to see that on YouTube, or do we not want to see that on no, YouTube? Doesn't I don't think it bothers most people. They can always like look away for a minute. Yeah, it's not a live feeding. I mean, yeah, it's not alive. So, are you feeding frozen dogs? Hmm. Are you feeding frozen? Yeah. Do you have a yeah. hard time getting pinkies? Do what now? Do you have a hard time getting pinkies? For some reason, it breaks up every time you, before you say pinkies. Do you have a difficult time getting pinkies? Oh, got it. Yeah. No, uh, well, there, one of my local fish stores can order that stuff for me, and he got me oh, got it. 50 for 75 just a big plastic bag of them and they're eating them like crazy so um i don't think he charges me what they should be charging but but he just gets them you know for a regular customer he won't he can't get uh crickets and stuff he can but he don't want to do that part so other than that i would be yes rob at aquatic aesthetics on our sunday night panel he gets them for me yeah, it makes it feel hard Let me just send you some, Priscilla. I just have a hard time finding them anyway. If you want me to have, see if he'll order you a bag, or I'll go ahead and get a bag early and split them with you. Yeah, but isn't that going to defrost by the time it gets here? They ship on dry ice, I think. They ship them to him. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say, just get some dry ice and put them in a styrofoam box and with some dry ice. Right. Well, if you do, let me know. Yeah, because this one needs two at a time. Yeah, my my two corn snakes are eating three at a time, so I'm going through them. I'm looking for my glasses because I can't see and they're on my face. I have to trick my corn snakes because they've started fighting over 
if one gets finished early. Yeah, he's not he's not black and white, is he? He's white and black. Is he? He looks like he's a little like a light yellow almost. Maybe that the camera. Okay. It's probably the background, just the white. Probably the lighting coming off of yeah, the camera. Yeah, it's hard to see. He's doing the backwards slide. I love that. Mike says he orders pinkies and rats in bulk from Rodent Pro. Can you put the link in there, Mike? Do you mind? Yeah, I don't have to do that. Yeah, I like making this so complicated. See that? Well, they're getting more expensive, too. I get the hoppers and the adults, and I get small rats from him, too, in bulk. Yeah, we buy we buy all of our rats in bulk as well. They're not going anywhere, so if I've got the money, get them while you can. Number two. Mike, did your new house snake eat again yet? <laughs> I do too. He's so I handsome anyway. Uh, makes him so damper. Look at him. Look at that. Look at his ears. Wow. Never met a dog. I didn't want to bless him. Oh. Look at that face. Yeah. so cute. Ham's just jealous. Look at him. Bless him. Bless him. Pretty eyes, too. Yeah. He's like, who is that old fool talking on me? Hey, talking about oh, you, Rambo. Oh, my God. Yazzie was asleep. Look here, Yazzie. Look here, Yazzie. Look here, Yazzie. Who's that? Uh-oh. Who's that? Uh-oh. Who's that? Stupid puppy. Rambo follows around Anthony. is to give it him the stare of death. <laughs> uh oh, he's about to start barking at him. Don't bark. Yeah, I see. Huh. Look at that. You made an ugly face. You're still making an ugly face. You scared him off. See, he gets Here happy he's... when Anthony gets back. Yeah, he's following him. You're right. <laughs> I'm excited when I get here. He's too little to sex, I guess, isn't he? I'm calling him he. Yeah. <laughs> rodentpro.com Yeah. All right, Mike. Um, mine are usually Wednesday or Thursday night. Oh, but the new house snake was watching those fire skinks way too intently, so I went ahead and gave him two more hoppers, small hoppers. And he did away with those. You want to come see these while you're on the big screen? Nick, Nick, I know it's not poisonous, it's a king snake. I guess a California king you snake. You one down there? It is beautiful. I have the car for the swear. I'm going to take the 
tested twice for COVID and it's negative. Pam, I'm going to work on a painting along with you. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Priscilla, I got one of those. You may have heard me say that Wednesday. He's I think used, so. Yeah, Leopard, he's gotten used to me now. He eats out of my hands. Only at night. That's the thing I don't like about him. He stays in during the day. This is number one of three. Is there two in there? Oh, they're all in different uh, enclosures. Oh, okay. There's so, number two. Oh, okay. That one you didn't have to even ring the dinner bell. So, uh, that so weird. Thing. Normally he's the aggressive eater and she's like the more docile one. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you going to braid him, Priscilla? No. I think he's too old. <laughs> What's in the water? I've really grown to like this one that I, I mean, it was brought to the ark and I just brought it home. It was a lot of fun. I was surprised at how big they poop. I'm room service. Here he comes. Here's number three. See, those look normal size to me. I think this one's too fat that I got. It's bigger. How's the other snake doing? He's getting ready to shed. They are cute. <coughs> Where's this one at? Have you seen it? Oh, he's all the way up there. Do you have any Chihuahua geckos? No. I'm thinking those are, are natives, aren't they? Or no? Chihuahua? I'm trying to remember. No, but... No. Chihuahua gecko is native to uh, New Caledonia. Okay, but they're not, not, not Similar to crested geckos and Lichianus geckos. I've read so many geckos and skinks and, and I didn't remember any of them. Except I know where my fire skinks are from. <laughs> Does that eat anything besides crickets? He can eat pinkies. Yeah. I don't like to see, no offense to anybody watching, or, but I don't like to see the frogs eat the live 
mice that just don't just right. imbalance or something. I know in nature they do. But. Thank you. <laughs> This is the one from George, right? Yeah, he's about to shed. Or no. Am I getting it? Mixed? I know Anthony's is from George. But this one's from George, too. Yeah, I was thinking so. I get things mixed up. Yeah. He's about to shed. It's grown since I've seen it. <laughs> I should still care. He's pretty. Yeah. He's getting big. Yeah, I've been around it. He, he looks really thick. He is thick. I think they all look so confused. Oh. Is it not? Is it not? Don't you? Now I'll just spray, spray her down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like the way you've got them all consolidated right there. Cool. Let's see if this guy's got me going. Ah, still up there. What the heck is that? It's a crested gecko. It doesn't really seem to chase for food. Oh, I can see it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the glass is dirty. It gets pretty humid in there. Tank for Vader, Mike. Okay. Oh, yeah, Patrick, she's always got awesome stuff. Priscilla always has cool stuff. Hey, Kim. Moonstone. Kimmy, hi. <laughs> Like, why do you have to shove that in my face? Patrick wants to know if those were real plants uh, on no. the other side, the long stemmy ones. They weren't. I couldn't tell, Patrick. They look real. You do any bioactive setups or? Oh, and, oh, inside here? Inside no, here? Think. Yeah. All of this is real. I think. Yeah. I think, um, Kenny said, are you doing bioactive? No, I don't think it's bioactive yet. The plan is to eventually. Got to. I don't think this is going to be the eventual setup. I was surprised at how easy it was to get to get it going. I've got the the uh, the big skin. The blue tongue is bioactive. So much so that I hardly have to feed the anoles that are in there. The whole colony of anoles. They find plenty. Thank you. 
I think you can take it down, Pam. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And forgets, and then you feel obligated to like keep showing stuff, and you're like just walking around trying to find stuff to show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was running out. I'm about to pull my pants down. Yeah, oh no, we we can't have you up here for that. I wanted to be a Vernon though. <laughs> no. So I really do like these tubs, so you guys don't have to explode it for this, but. Yeah. Got all these live plants around. I like the way that whole little thing looks. It's funny, my favorite guppy in this tank is this blue one right here. And it was one purchased from a local to Colorado uh, reef store. Oh, wow. Where they barely started dealing with fresh water and had very little fresh water. So I thought that was pretty cool. You get some fry out of it. I hope so. I was almost thinking of trying to get some of the younger female fry that haven't been hit yet and getting close to me and putting both of them in one of these uh, things here. substrate in there really makes the everything pop out it's good yeah well priscilla has extremely soft water under 50 tds so uh it's aragonite down there oh okay Annie, what are you drawing? What are you working on? What's that? What are you working on? Uh, so I've got a pour painting that I tried to do of a jellyfish, and it didn't come out. Uh, didn't turn out well. So I'm drawing over top of it right now. Pam, are you still working? I'm almost done. All right. Almost done, and then I'll see if anybody wants to buy this one. I'm going to have to have a an extra stream probably either tomorrow night or the next night. Or I'll be, like, looking for a place to live. <laughs> uh, We're going to hop off, guys. We'll catch you later. Okay, well, thanks for coming up. Have a good night, guys. See you. Good night. You guys behave yourselves. Yeah, well, we have to get up at 6 a.m., so there's not much we can do. Anthony, I know you hated that. But... Nice. <laughs> right. I wondered if uh, mine wasn't eating crickets, too, Mike. And I don't even know if they've eaten the anoles that are in there. I know they disappeared, but I don't know if maybe one ate both or what.
Okay, are you ready for the big unveiling of this one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Turn this off. Okay. Da, da, da. Oh, I should put it in a sleeve. Hang on. And then, and I'll show you mine in a few minutes when I'm done. Oh, hold on, I'm putting it in a plastic sleeve to protect it. Oh, let me see here. I think if I change my setting, I can show it better. So hold on. Okay, let's try this. There. It is a male wood duck. Because Skipper was asking me the other night why I never did any males. I kept doing females, so I thought, well, I'll do a male. Skipper went to bed, so he loses this, this duck. Oh, I like the light on the beak. So that is it. So if anybody wants it, you get first chance at it. I'm probably going to have a stream either tomorrow Mon or Monday morning because I've got to get my rent paid. It might be Monday because things like Sunday is always super busy and then I'll offer it up again then. But people are who in are in here right now can have an opportunity to buy it if they want it. And there's no reserve on these little ones, so. If anybody wants it, bid on it now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> you got, did you get my money on that other one? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's only like, there's not very many people in here, so I might have to do a special stream and pray. All right, I think I'm dead. Oh, let me see what we got going here. Help, hold on a second. I just hit a button. Well, there. hold on. Let me, I'm going to move it over into better lighting and stuff. Anyway, so. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, isn't that awesome? There we go. So it was, it was a jellyfish, um, but because it did the black, it didn't turn like the tentacles and stuff didn't come out right. It just got all very muddy. So I drew this over top of it. That looks pretty dang cool. So it's kind of still a jellyfish, but. It looks like That's real bone. bone. <laughs> <coughs> really? that, is, that is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Like that. You can see some of the, like the tentacles and stuff behind it. Yeah, but it looks cool with it. I like it. Don't touch it. Yeah, no, I think I think it's good. How big is that? Is it like a card size or? No, it's uh. Oh, it's big. Oh, okay. Eleven by twenty-four or, or something like that. Yeah. Fourteen, fourteen by twenty-six. I don't know. 
when I could just see the edge of the python, I thought it was uh, air tubing there. It's like, how big is yeah. that? Um, I'm trying to think. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I got a tape measure. I think I got one down here. Yes, I do. Boop. I wonder why YouTube still shows this image as my my thingy here instead of my new that I uploaded. Supposed to take a while to do it sometimes. Well, it is twelve by. Looks like a twelve by twenty-four canvas. Yeah, twelve by twenty-four. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, this is this is all done with acrylic white oh, white acrylic. Oh, you better go back. And. Black Sharpie in here for darkening some stuff up. That looks good. I love that. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. I like how it turned out. Yep. So you're going to hang it up in your fish room? I don't know. I might sell it. <laughs> I like that. But it'll probably hang up for now. That was a good save. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I wasn't I wasn't happy with how it looked after it was done because, and I didn't think either like using the black paint with the the light colors because it was red and yellow and and white and stuff so I didn't think. And then when it you know once it came out and it was done I was like yeah this is all muddied and washed out. Rack needs to come up. We're only going to be on for another half an hour. So. Thanks, Patrick. I just finished the draw. Oh, hi, Stephanie. I just finished a little drawing of a male wood duck. If anybody's interested. I'm doing a bigger drawing of a male wood duck, but that's one that I got wet before the stream started, so I gotta let it get dry. <laughs> or when it won't hurt the paper and it'll dry fine, but if I tried to draw on it when it was damp, it would tear the paper right up. Yeah. You know, I should probably get these fish floating. Yeah, you better do that. So you have an eight week old baby, you said? Yeah, an eight week old son and an 18 month old son. Oh my God, they're close together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the, so our older son, uh, Julian, he's he's been sick the last couple of days as well with COVID. Oh, that just makes me so sad. Yeah, I but uh, to see babies get sick. Thankfully, you know, today he was feeling a lot better. Today he hasn't had a fever at all today and stuff. So, and I've been feeling better today, which is good. I hope the baby baby doesn't get it. Yeah, we're you know we're we're hoping, but you say your wife is positive right now too. Yeah, she just tested positive today. Has she had it before at all, or? No, and she she's vaccinated. 
Hold on one second. Well, hopefully some of the the vaccination went through. Is she breastfeeding? Because maybe, maybe he got some antibiotics in the milk. That would be good. Um, kind of. Like, on and off she is. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to turn my lights back on because it, it just shut off. Patrick says, what is your starting price for your art? Um, I don't know. I mean, I hate, I hate giving out prices for my artwork. It's like, um, it's hard to me. It's hard for me to put a value, like a monetary value on something like that. Yeah. You know, it's so it's like, hard. if somebody wants something, I usually tell them to make me an offer. And if I think it's too low, I'll tell them. Uh oh, we got somebody wanting to have some fun in here. Oh, good. Priscilla got him. I was just getting ready to, I switched over to get him, but Priscilla was quick. Bestcams.fun. I'm going to save that link. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, like that painting, I, I'd sell it. It's not, it's not probably not something I'm, I hang up or that I plan to hang up, you know, but um, so if anybody wanted it, I don't want to like hijack your stream or anything like that. So, but uh, that feel free to stream is about it. it doesn't matter. This stream is about fish fam art. It doesn't say Punchy's art stream. <laughs> it's fish fam art um, live stream. So, if you've been here before, you realize that I've had like auctions for Sarah's art and other stuff. So, it doesn't. I'm not like, it's not like just my art on here. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, I guess, Patrick, if you're interested, shoot me an offer and I'm sure I could ship it to you and stuff. Or anybody, I guess, really. Oh, I see rack. Well, it's, there he is. Hey, Pam. Hi. Hello, how's it going? Good, I've got to go shut you down in the other room. I'll be right back. You're going to shut me down? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting shut down. Priscilla says, Rack, we saw a bunch of king white banded fishers today. Oh my gosh. Sounds fun. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> Pam, when you're on, I like to watch you on multiple devices. Oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, whichever room I go into, you know, whichever project I pick up, I'm still tuned in. <clears throat> but when I'm on the panel, it's distracting to hear myself echo. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything I say is so cool. I say it three times. So, hey, Kenny, I'm Rack. I don't know if we've met. I don't uh, think so. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. And I just heard you were an artist. Yes. I haven't, seen, you. I haven't seen your work. Have you shown any tonight? Uh, yeah. I just showed one that I just worked on, actually. I hate to make oh, you do that again, but I'd love to see it. Okay, cool. What's the medium there? Uh, so it's acrylic paint. So yeah. that it was originally a pore painting that um, nice. was supposed to be a jellyfish, which you can kind of see in the background and stuff. Yeah. And because of the colors that I used, it, it was all muddied up. Mm -hmm. So I took uh, acrylic paint marker and 
drew over top of it what you see here. Nice. Is that like a Posca or something? What's that? The acrylic paint marker. Is that a Posca? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Very nice. I, I've got a new uh, painting show tonight. You do? Yeah. Um, you know, I've been <clears throat> rolling out the Hawaiian content. Hey, Bob. Hey. I've been rolling out the Hawaiian content, and uh, this week I'm releasing a video on the particular park in Honolulu where we saw parrots. So this is Polly. Oh, absolutely awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll have some small prints of Polly. My wife wants a T-shirt. <laughs> that would make a good T-shirt. Yeah, so I think we're probably going to auction this off soon on a bird garden stream, and then cool. I'll have some, I'll have some reproducibles available. Did you see the one I did tonight? No, no. This one is a little cards. Oh yeah, you're so awesome at wood ducks. I think you could just do wood ducks and retire. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's got the, the market cornered on wood ducks. Well, no one does it like she does. I know I've got <laughs> a couple at least, maybe a few. I think you've got a couple of them because you've got a little one and then the big one. I uh, I went to Aquaticon today. Did you? I did. I saw you there on Robert's video. Yeah. I looked for uh, Bobby Bacala, the godfather, but he wasn't there. I said hi to you on his video. Oh, thank you. Um, so, you know, my I took a Tennessee Mafia name, Bob, uh, Kingfisher. All right. So what's that make my wife? Uh, Queen Fisher? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Following the same thing? Yeah. So the, the, the Queen Fisher and I went to Aquaticon today. I got some good koi food. I'll probably make a video about that. I didn't see her. I saw you coming with the bag down toward it and all them. And Robert was she, I'll tell you why, Bob. She was over talking to Holly Peck, uh, ah. Peck Peck's wife, and she bought a very beautiful uh, piece of owl artwork from her out of her booth. Well, I'm glad I got the cardinal first. I said, Robert, get that cardinal there, and I'll reverse that contract on you. And so he grabbed it quick and got it for me. He's going to send it by Ed. Uh, Beautiful red cardinal. Yeah. So there was a really good representation of art there. First year show. I was so happy to be there. I was proud of those guys for pulling the, pulling it off. I thought about Pam. I thought, man, if we could get Punchy Paints a booth for Aquaticon 2, that would be a draw. Yeah. Yeah. And now I just I learned know, today uh, that, the, uh, that the Keystone Clash is doing in art. Yeah. Like a, an art thing as well. I think they have like a little competition, even an art show. Yeah. So, uh, the, who is it? Scotty. Scotty was uh, talking about wanting to email me about entering the, the show and everything. And I'm like, well, sounds like it's a lot more work than I want to do. And he's like, no, no, we'll take care of it. He's like, I'll, I'll send you an email. I'm like, oh, I don't, all right. <laughs> Get in there. And I, are, are you a content creator, ABC Candy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a, I have I'll a check channel. your channel out. I haven't before. Yeah. So uh, a little back info is that I keep North American native fish, and I I set up natural biotope aquariums for said North American natives. Cool. And I also breed. Uh, I'm working on breeding a few different species of uh, shiners and dace. And where are you? What state? I'm in New York. Okay. Tennessee recently outlawed keeping of any native fish, so I yep. love that idea. And uh, any anytime I go to a natural history place in Tennessee, I love to see the native setups. That's really cool. Yeah, I just went down. Uh, I was down in Virginia and West Virginia two weeks ago doing some collecting. What parts? Uh, I was in. I forget exactly where, but it was all over like Southwest Virginia, like Smith River. And um, like New River drainage basin and stuff. I was raised in Southwest Virginia, beautiful part of the country. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I had, I had a great time. We, you know, it was a eleven and a half hour drive from my house to the first collection location, and like we left we left Monday night at ten thirty at night, and 
got there at nine nine thirty in the morning Tuesday, and you know we hit probably eight different spots and then drove back Tuesday night and got home Wednesday Wednesday morning at like five in the morning. Those are the days, man. That's so much fun. <laughs> you know, I was recently in Hawaii, and my wife and I did snorkeling. And I was amazed that the beautiful fish I saw, the aquarium fish, they're very expensive, are right there in the surf. Yeah. In front of the breakers. I mean, they're almost on the beach. It was amazing. And I thought, wow, I had no idea these fish would be so easy to collect. Of course, Hawaii is shut down all collection. You can't do that. Yeah, that's, that's why the price of yellow tanks and everything has skyrocketed because of the, yeah. uh, um, the import or the export being banned now on on like yellow tanks and other fish from Hawaii and stuff. But so I thought that would be so easy to collect those. Uh, I'm interested. So I'm a bird bander, right? And, and bird banding requires bird trapping. So methodology, yep. I'm really into that. I'm wondering what kind of techniques you used on your collecting trip. Uh, so we, we mostly used a, um, a four foot by, by 20 foot seam net. Well, just the same, right? It's too easy. Yeah. And then uh, we we also did some dip netting and stuff, and then used a, a small four foot seam and stuff for some of the, the trickier areas and stuff. But that's I mean that's pretty much what we used for collecting was uh, two cool. dip nets, a seam net, and a small hey, seam. Cool, Pam, is that your dating site in chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not judging. I was just curious. <laughs> That's and, a link uh, to my OnlyFans. Uh, Swiss Aquatics. Hey, what's going on out there? Swiss Aquatics. Uh, and who? someone saw, oh, yeah, uh, Anthony wants me to come uh, bird watching in Colorado. I have been bird watching in Colorado, and I would go back in an instant. That place is so cool. I went out there to an Avett Brothers concert at Red Rocks. Talk about a venue! Oh my gosh! Oh, I've been, I've seen, uh, I've seen Dirty Heads at Red Rocks a few times. Gosh, that place is awesome. Yeah. And the the public service announcements include um, restricting the use of marijuana. <laughs> and every time it flashes across the screen in rotation, it gets an ovation. <laughs> Not because people support it. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> and if you don't know, it's an outdoor venue. So a beautiful outdoor venue. It's amazing. It is natural rock formations. Yeah. So Pam, you did a you did a wood duck. You did anything else? No, I got another wood duck going, but I accidentally like set that wet paper towel down on top of it, so I got to let it dry before I can finish it. I donated some art to Aquaticon. I gave them five frame prints to give away oh, in their nice. raffle. Very cool. Yeah, Very I thought cool. so. I thought that was a neat thing to do for a fish fam artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, I thought if Punchy Paints was here. <laughs> Oh, did you see my shirt? Why you see that, That's legit, baby. I did. That's not mail order. That's not Amazon. <laughs> I got on a big plane. I drank uh, water out of a coconut. Bought me a shirt. <clears throat> I signed up for a ukulele certificate tonight. At, I've fallen out of the habit, so I need some structure. So I'll have to do a public performance at the end of the semester. Really? Maybe, maybe you can have me on for a ukulele break, Pam. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Priscilla says she needs to take Anthony to Red Rocks. Definitely. You need to, if you, if you go there, I think that's close to the dinosaur place. You need to take him there. That was pretty cool. In Denver, there's a, a place where there's like this big hillside that's got petrified um, dinosaur yeah. prints, like footprints all over the place, all different kinds. Denver also had a phenomenal botanical garden. Yeah. That hosted another outdoor concert. So on our trip, we saw, <laughs> I think they're called the Steep Mountain Rangers. And they were the band for Steve Martin that he put together when he started touring playing his banjo. 
So they performed at the Botanical Garden. Also a weird smell at an outdoor concert. Uh, <laughs> is this, it was, uh, and being from the East, it's just different. It's a lot looser out there and so cool. Nothing's burning down. There's no chaos, pandemonium. It's not. Yes, they not just awesome. legalized it here um, this, this past year. Okay. Yeah. And it's not that much of a nuisance outdoors, you know? Oh, well. Whiff gone. The, I mean, yeah, it, you it's, smell it almost. I, I, years and years ago, when it was highly illegal everywhere, and I'd go to bluegrass concerts, and you could always smell it in the air there too. <laughs> I love yeah, bluegrass bluegrass concerts. Concerts. They don't call it bluegrass for nothing, do they, Pam? That's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I used to go to like outdoor blue, like they have a big one in Portland every spring and um, they had one in the Dells where I ran over that guy that everybody knows about. <laughs> and I also used to always go to, um, there is an amphitheater in George, Washington, a natural amphitheater that sits above the Columbia River and um, it's a it's an outdoor thing and a winery and stuff so there was always a lot of whiffs in the air there too. <laughs> yeah, during uh, I think it was it was last last either last year or the year before doing the stage hand stuff. I did uh, the outlaw outlaw bluegrass music festival. Cool. Oh, that'd be fun. Year. And uh, I worked that, and that was a that was a great show. I forget exactly who was there, but it was like uh, Willie Nelson and cool. like a couple of other bands, like a ton of bands that were there. But it it was a great show. Uh, you know, Willie I got gave the, me a uh, guitar pick. Yeah, I, I, I was the fire marshal. We did an annual big festival, and with the badge on, if you ask for a guitar pick, you always get a guitar pick. Oh yeah. And, oh, absolutely, uh, officer. Here, here's your guitar pick. Well, thank you. <laughs> and I would get. I got them because my son was playing guitar at the time, and I would give them to him. And he said that was the biggest inspiration of all the guitar picks I gave him was Willie Nelson's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I I got to talk to it. well a bunch of us got to talk to him for a little while because uh, we we're doing you know doing a setup and everything and moving all the all the instruments in and you know lo doing a load in and everything and his uh, guitar tech is over there look you know going through his guitar cases and tuning them up and everything and and he's out there talking with the guitar tech and shit and we're all just hanging out and stuff and the guy's giving out fucking picks and stuff. It was a great time. That's fun. So you find that's the weak link if you want a guitar pick, the guitar tech. Yeah. He's the guy with the guitar yeah. picks. <laughs> yep. I remember one of the one of the concerts I went to at the amphitheater in the gorge. <coughs> stage sits like right on the edge of the cliff. And then there's like a natural amphitheater kind of around oh, wow. it. And a rock hill up behind you. But you have to go through um it's at a winery. And you drive forever through cornfields and stuff on a dirt road to get there. That's fun. Then they have big parking in a field. And then you um, get your tickets and they, they usually have somebody set up at the gate. Well, my kids were all little then. I had three little kids. Courtney was a baby baby. And um, I think Tucker was like three and, and Jesse was six. And um, my brother-in-law came with one of his friends too and then my ex-husband so we got there early because because of all the little kids we wanted to get a good seat right so we got there early and um we just walked you know walked down there and and um sat up on the hillside above where and they were setting up the stage and stuff and my brother-in-law well first his friend stood up and he says i'm gonna go get a bottle of wine so we said, okay, and he never came back, never came back. And then Todd, my brother-in-law, he says, well, I'm going to go see where my friend went. So he got up and he walked off and he never came back. So we were sitting there and they were getting closer to, you know, to get everything set up. And my, my ex-husband says, well, I'm going to go see where those guys went. Never and he came got back. up and left and he never came back. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there with all the kids and we'd gone to see um the nitty gritty dirt band was who oh, we went cool. to yeah it was an awesome awesome concert 
But anyway, so I'm sitting there and I'm by myself with the kids. And I sat there and sat there and sat there and nobody ever came back. And I thought, God, I better go see where they are. <laughs> so I stood up and I'm like walking along the cliff face. And I came around the corner of the cliff and they had put the gate up after we went down there. Uh -huh. So there was like 10 million people behind this gate. And I was, and they hadn't opened it yet. And I was like, oh shit, they're probably behind there someplace and can't get back in. And I was like, thinking I needed to go back behind the gate because my husband had the tickets. So one of the security card guards came running up to me. And he says, we know you're there. Just get back down there, pick out your seat. He says, they're getting ready to open the gate. And I got, you know, like I say, I'm holding little kids and a baby in my arms and stuff. And they opened up the gate and you could just see this mad rush of people heading towards us. And he says, where do you want to sit? And I said, two rows up right in the middle. And he like grabbed Tucker in one arm and he grabbed Jessica's hand and he took off running. And I was like following behind him with Courtney in my arms. And he got us sat down just about the time that the crowd of people hit. <laughs> That was a really good concert, except that um, oh, when the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band got up there, they, they said that they had um, the bus with all of the instruments wasn't there yet, or it had gotten lost on the plane or something. All their their cases with the oh, instruments wow. were Damn not there. Is. So all they had was a, um, a couple of banjos. And... Um, and they had some more instruments coming from another band that was in the area that they were borrowing them from. So they were like on their way with some instruments for them. But in the meantime, it took them an hour to get their instruments. So the first hour, all they did was old bluegrass music with the mm. band. And then when the other instruments got there, they went into their newer stuff. But that was like, it ended up being like a four hour concert. And it was absolutely fantastic it was like one of the best mm -hmm. concerts i ever went to it was so much fun it was cool so memory fun. anyway sorry about that it no just, that was that was really cool yeah who's a query of life i see in chat i don't recognize stephanie that. that's stephanie oh hey you stephanie said, i'd love to see you over at the bird garden channel yeah, well, you could see her if you come on that Tennessee Fish Mafia panel some Sunday night. I'm waiting on my invitation, Bob. I told you I'd do it. You well, sent me you sent me videos from Chewy, no invitation. Did I send them? I can't remember. Yeah, I got them. <laughs> yeah, he was okay. just asking me earlier if I knew how to get a hold of you because he wanted to see if you'd come up tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow? What time? I had, some, I had somebody cancel last minute. What time, Bob? uh we go at eight eastern is that an invitation yeah i'd already asked you wednesday but i didn't think you'd be available well, i know that we didn't schedule I, I want to be there i don't want to beg but you know um i don't you know i, I want to be there so bad i can't stand it bob you have all your friends on there i feel like as long as you promise you've mailed the check <laughs> you can come i have mailed the check a you big one it. yeah i don't want you to put that contract out on me no, 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 no. <laughs> Wouldn't look good now you being a, a Tennessee Fish Mafia member. Kingfish. <laughs> Just call me so Kingfish. I, I told him to send you a link on, on Facebook, so watch for it. Okay. I, did, I didn't send one, and I've got you on Messenger, but we just hadn't talked in a while, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop down, guys. All right, Kenny. Okay, thanks for coming you. up. I got I to gotta make some brine shrimp and stuff tonight still, so. I'll, I'll definitely check out your channel. Yeah, I appreciate it. Stuff, right? See you, you guys have a good night. You too. Thanks for coming out. It's great to meet new people here, I'll tell you that. Yeah, he's got some awesome stuff. He just gave us a partial tour before you came out. So. But yeah, do you really want to come tomorrow night? Yeah. I was sitting here thinking, and I started to ask Priscilla, and I thought, no, 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 Anthony's over there. And, uh, no. Yeah, I, I know. Um, sometimes you get better offers. You got to go with the better offer, but I definitely would like to be there tomorrow at eight. Well, we try to keep it educational. It's right uh, in my wheelhouse. 
Yeah. And uh, of course, it's a fish primarily, but um, sometimes we veer off a little bit. I think we could branch off into birds in Hawaii and stuff tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know, I got um, I've got some questions I need to ask your audience about those saltwater fish I saw. Okay. And um, the, you know, we got that five thousand gallon, gallon pond out there. We can talk about. I bought some new koi food at Aquaticon today. I could talk about. All right. And that koi, I tell you what, that koi food might be the real deal. What's what brand is it? It's a new one, um, Koi Diet, I think they call it. And Kenny there at Aquaticon, and he's got a partner, I think, that went in on that. Uh, so it's brand new. It's got great packaging, portion sizes, the size of the pellet, everything square, the ingredients. But the big deal is I can't love a fish food of any type that my fish don't love. I, I just can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't sell it for you if my fish don't like it. Right. But those koi, they snap those as soon as they've been eating a soft winter food. Uh, it's more like a, I don't know how it's like a wafer, very very light, doesn't hurt their digestion, gets them started. So today's the first day they've had pellets. I've been feeding this pink. So they recognize. I'm telling you this because they recognize as food on site this pink floating small cracker i put in this brown floating pellet and I, I it smells it smells a lot more than that wafer they gobbled it up oh, wow. so I, as and my first impression of this food is five star and i'm going to feed i bought a big bag so i could feed it at least the month of may and monitor the color on the fish because that's what's important to me I think that's an excellent representation of nutrition. Yeah. And if at the end of this month I feed that bag of food and their colors are strong, I'm a believer. The price point was right. So, koi diet. And I think it, it may, it's so new, Aquatic Marine there in Knoxville might be the only place you can get it. Hmm. And I know it's nutritionally sound or you wouldn't have even gotten it. Yes. Yeah. The ingredient list. I mean, that's all you have, right? You, you got to read the label. That's all. That's all you have. Right. So everything's good. All the pellets floated. The moisture content was good. The packaging was good. And I'll tell you what I like the bag sealed up, tear the plastic off the top, use it, and then you can seal it back. Like so that. many cheap bags don't reseal. Then the food dries out. And all of those nu nutrients just evaporating away in my mind. Maybe that's not true, but I think so. So Koi Diet, Aquatic Con, Aquatic Marine, Tennessee Fish Moth. Bob, I bought a Tennessee Fish Mafia t-shirt. I'm glad you got one because the Codfather didn't even have one yet. I'm full-fledged, baby. I'm yeah. full-fledged. <laughs> and I told Bobby to tell uh, Ed that I wanted a hat and a shirt. And Ed said something like, well, he'll have to go shopping later or something like that. And I'm like, <laughs> it was right. so good to see Ed. It was so yeah. good to see Ed. I mean, and I, those hats they had, they looked really sharp. But yeah. the one you're wearing tonight also looks very sharp. The Tennessee Aquarium. I didn't get to wash my hair today. Is one it the Tennessee up. or Georgia? Georgia, sorry. Yeah. The big G. Yeah, they got the whale. Yeah. It was awesome. You've been, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, I I, I want to say something here. It's a side story. So my sister lives in Atlanta. I'm down there quite a bit. Uh, the Braves, world champion baseball team, they're in Atlanta. And so I go to this aquarium and I learn about this uh, these uh, whale sharks. Is that what they are, Bob? Uh, those are those yes. great big ones that eat plankton. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah those Huge. are the whale sharks. Enormous. So yeah. getting them, getting them there, taking care of them, keeping them healthy, not easy. Enormous no. task. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of the scale of the aquarium, which is top notch at every level. Gift shop, restaurant, uh, parking, location. It's it's just it's a first class all the way. That thing wouldn't have happened. And I'm telling you this because as a, a fish room keeper, I do a lot of DIY projects, whether I want to or not. You know, you, it's part of it. 
I have a choice in my little area here of a, a store that is predominantly blue and a store that is predominantly orange. Is that okay, Pam, if I say that? Yeah. Um, so I always oh, have a choice. Which way am I going, blue or orange? Well, they're at the Georgia Aquarium. The orange store gave tens of millions of dollars. They donated tens of millions of dollars to the Georgia Aquarium so people could see, enjoy, and learn about fish. Now, that was do what you want to do. I'm just putting that out there for public information. The orange team did that. And those uh, big whale sharks or whatever they are, I feel like I'm saying that wrong because I don't know so much about them. No, the, the whale sharks are the great okay. big ones that are kind of spotted and have the yes. great big huge mouth. Yes. And they just, you see them swimming they, they over you. And that's plankton. Yep, they just okay. So there are, there are people who, who, uh, who their business is delivering packages, right? And one of those people, uh, we would say, is Team Brown. Okay. Well, Team Brown delivered those fish or mammals, whatever they are. I had no idea about any of, not common knowledge, not in the news, not in anything I read about the wonderful aquarium. Team Orange, tens of millions of dollars. Team Brown brought the exhibit to Atlanta, and they they made special transportation vehicles and appliances to get them there. I imagine cool. they would have to, yeah. Well, there, there, and there you go. That's just for information. That's not saying anything negative against anybody else. Just positive about these two teams identified by color. You don't get that anywhere else. Only here on Punchy Paints live stream about art. <laughs> there was a guy uh, off that was um, snorkeling off of um, off the coast on Cape Cod here a couple months ago that got swallowed by a whale shark. Some of accidentally because they, they don't eat people you know yeah. they, they just eat plankton well, it made me think about a whale and whale. Whale. <laughs> he got swallowed by a whale shark and it, and it spit him out again and that's like was he in, tell me he was in the belly occurrence. for three days was he uh -oh. in the belly for three days <laughs> no no but um he was in the hospital for three days afterwards <laughs> kind of the same kind of yeah yeah <laughs> But yeah, I saw that on the news and I thought it was going to be a fake story, but I, I started seeing more and I looked at it and it was a true story. This guy got, he was like um, diving for um, oyster oh. or something. Yeah. And he, he was heading up and all of a sudden just everything went black. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Have you been there, Bob? Did you go there when you got your hat? Yeah, my nephew, great nephew, and I went there a few months ago. They are awesome creatures, that's for sure. They really are. They're huge, too. One thing they did there that I enjoyed, they partnered with the local brewery. And so they had a, an aquarium-themed beer that rotated in and out. And whenever, whichever beer they had, they made merch. So I got some kind of a penguin pale ale. And I got the, the Georgia Aquarium long sleeve T-shirt to match. It was pretty sweet. Hmm. I got the hat, and he wanted a T-shirt, but he didn't want to spend his money. He's, I mean, he has a job and all that. So Patrick I got him here. Shirt. Hey, Patrick. I got him the shirt. How old is he? How old's your nephew, Bob? He's twenty-two. Oh man, I bet he had a great time. Yeah. He went to the reptile show with me in Chattanooga last weekend. Okay. Did he get anything? Elkata. Yeah. I know. He was worried he was doing the math. I, th I think I told you this already. The, the math yeah. to see if he might it might outlive him. And I said, well, I'll take it if it does. <laughs> Mike's Aquatics and Things says Sean Peck's wife is a very good artist, too. So. Yes, she is. Holly yeah. Peck. I've met her. Uh, Holly Peck. I, th I think she's got a website or something. She does. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just hollypeck.com. Pam won't let me push buttons. I've already done out the screen twice tonight. Pam, you're really pushing that dating site. I'm getting tempted to check it out. 
Is it on there again? I'm scrolling up, reading the chat I missed, and I saw it three times in a row. Oh, yeah. That's what they do. They come in and just keep spamming until they get deleted. Crazy. I had to go to uh, <laughs> subscribers only, and then I kept upping it. Like, I finally got to, you had to be a subscriber three months before you could comment on my bird feeding station live stream. And that, that so far, knock on wood, is taking care of it. Uh, uh, otherwise, you just have to turn comments off. Congratulations, Nola. Nola, hello. Good job, Nola. Yeah, I might should have asked Robert to mail that card to me from, or that cardinal from Holly, because I, I haven't seen it in probably six weeks. Yeah. Or maybe two months. He left stuff in my truck last time that's still there. He was looking good. I hope he didn't overdo it. Said he lost 35 pounds, Robert He said. was looking good. But, man, also he also told me um, he'd had to walk to his truck twice. And I'm, wow. Ed, there's 15 people standing here that can't wait to do for you. Why are you doing that? Oh, man. That's a no Southern expression. Right. I'm showing my age and my heritage all in one mouthful. All right. That's something to be proud of. <laughs> all right, well, that's important. Um, I'm trying to remember if I ever had your logo rack. I know when I did that, you made the thumbnail for me when we used to do yeah. that time slot takeover. So I don't think I've. I think that was record. on the uh, that was on the Pond Life channel. Uh, you want this one, right? Um, whichever one you want. Oh, you don't mind if I send you that one? It, it's no, not fish related. Fine. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we could, or I got the Kauai Birding Trail Facebook group. You People send me were crazy about you that today. Whatever. Look what I got. Look what I got while I was there. You guys know him? You left him. They were trying to get Lefty to sing and he wouldn't do it. Susan? Yeah. That's all I have on my desk. But I also, of course, got Fish Room Fever, Chattanooga Ed, and Tennessee Mafia. I decided that literally the last minute I got up and went to the bathroom like at three. I went to bed at twelve, and I never. You see what time it is? I'm never in bed at twelve, so I could get up at eight, eight thirty. And I thought, oh, I better buy my ticket. I forgot to do that before I went to bed, and I got on there, and started doing, and they didn't have a PayPal, so I'm, like, I'm not going to get in there and get my card. I'll do it first thing in the morning, and I turned my alarm off when I got up to go to the bathroom, thinking I wouldn't go, and then I changed my anyway. I slept in. Sometimes you need to sleep in. We bought our tickets uh, at the gate. I think they would have probably given us one if I would have made a video, uh, and I would have made a video, but I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to go. There. I would have made it there about noon. I could have gone. I just laid in bed and well, watched the live streams. So. How did it, Bob, how did it come across on the live streams? As far as? The show was, I'm sure it was positive representation. Yeah, it was great. And everybody, I watched, um, um, Shy did a stream for Fish Room Fever, and she was very responsive in her stream. And I'm a mod on there, so all the streams I went in, I was a mod on still. Um, okay, Robert, cool. I'm a mod there, so uh, he answered questions, you know, and whatever we wanted to see, he would show us, and there was a lot to see and do. Um, so much to do, and the frag the, over on the dark side, I called it. The frag tanks were beautiful. <clears throat> it uh, seemed like it seemed like it was a little um, a little spread out for how many uh, events were. I mean, for the for the attendance, I guess. I think being the first year, they didn't have the density of the other shows that I'm used to going to. So right. it, it was I was unfamiliar with having elbow room. Right. It wasn't uh, sparse at all. There were plenty of people there. They just had plenty of room, like you say. Yeah, and I, I always, I was always in a crowd. I mean, it was yeah. like people coming to say hello to me, and the science gal was there, and so three people stopped to talk to her while she was talking to me, and then 
James came over and four people came to talk to James. It was like a family reunion more than, uh, and I knew it would be. And that was basically the interest for me. But the, it was, I thought they did a really good show. The parking lot was absolutely full. It kept turning over. There were always people buying tickets at the gate. Uh, I know Holly Peck sold things. Chattanooga Ed, all the way back in the corner at the YouTube booth, he was selling Tennessee Mafia T-shirts. Kenny was at the front selling oxalotls. So it was frenetic. And, and koi food. I bought koi food from him. Yeah. So. And then the raffle was amazing. I can't even tell you. It was probably 30 feet uh, of tables with uh, yeah. each each raffle was represented by like an eight inch box at 30 feet of that. So wow. they had a ton of stuff to give away. All that, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I poor Kenny, I asked him, I didn't I didn't have to ask him. He said, People people are asking me about next year. He said, I don't know, Rack. He said, I'm absolutely exhausted. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I said, well, for all of us, Kenny, please take a couple of weeks off before you even think about it. <laughs> Susan scared me. Uh, Susan Preston said, well, she scared me this morning. She, uh, oh, that's what, what I did. I turned my alarm off now, remember, because I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get up. It's almost 8 o'clock, and I was going to sleep till 8.30. But she messaged and said, where are we um, meeting to eat? And I'm like, oh my God, did, did I get my days? I do that all the time. Did I, did I get my days mixed up and didn't set the alarm the right day? Or, you know, I, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. And uh, actually, that was Friday, it wasn't this morning. Anyway, I'm confused now. But she's like, where are we supposed to meet up to eat? And I'm like, um, I'm not going till tomorrow. That was actually Friday, it wasn't today. I need to sleep. Anyway, she's like, oh no, I'm here to help set up and all that so that was nice of her i was looking forward to seeing her too who who else uh tennessee no uh savannah darter was there yeah yeah sarah sarah siever yeah we got to meet sarah and we're supposed to live stream together sometime she's liking that i guess she's pretty cool i see her in some of the other live streams she's a big ed fan but who isn't you know I am. We are. I know. We all are. Yeah. We were back there hanging out, Bob. You know how it is with these things. Uh, Lefty and me and Ed and uh, James. And then uh, Peck Tech was giving a talk. So after he finished, he came back there. Then it was James' turn to go give a talk. Yeah. Uh, it was It was just so cool. And uh, the other YouTuber, Scuba Steve-O, met him. He was there. Yeah, I, was Susan. I didn't see any of the live streams, of course, because we were there, but uh, I was on several of them. Uh, any of them that would have me, I would say hello. Oh, Austin was the other one that uh, okay. live streamed. Did Lefty live stream? I was trying to convince him to go live. He wasn't sure. I only stayed like the first two and a half, three hours, and I'm like, I got to get out. I'm still in bed. I'm like, I got to get up and eat and walk my dogs. And- and you're watching these live streams. I was enjoying it, but I was in bed. Um, yeah, we tried to get Shy to sneak in James's presentation, and she said, the door's open. I think I can't, you know, Shy, she's like, I, the door's open, and then somebody closed it, and she said, well, that, that's off now. So, like, But right. I think his topic was uh, Habits of Fish Keepers, and he has a compatible video uh, habits oh, of successful okay. fish keepers. If I'm not mistaken, now I, I stand to be corrected, but I think that's what I overheard. Okay. Yeah. I hope they do it again next year. I hope I'm. Me too, to because I, I'll tell you, I know what a tremendous undertaking that was. But they, they did it so well. They did it, Bob. They pulled it off. They hauled off, and they did it. The only constructive uh, thing that I heard, and that was uh, one of the people that was live streaming, maybe, because I haven't messaged it at all today or anybody, uh, said uh, that some signs, oh, somebody in the, the one of the chats of the live stream said um, there's some si- overhead signs to indicate areas, I guess, like fresh water, salt water, I don't know. Yeah. 
uh, would be good. And they said, yeah, we'd already talked about it. I think yeah, Lefty, sure. Lefty said that. Yeah, so, so yeah I'm sure they would. You know, if, if someone gave me a pencil and a piece of paper and made me write down some things to make next year better, I could do it. But the point is, this first year, and they pulled right. it off. They pulled oh, it yeah. together. Oh, they yeah. pulled it off, and it was amazing. I didn't. And it will anything. be better next year. It'll be more polished. I didn't hear anything, and you included anything, you know, concerns or you know anything about it. So, yeah, I'd be happy to help them improve if they ask me next year. But I'm telling you, it was a, it was well worth my money. I drove two hours to get there. My wife and I spent our day in Knoxville and it was a blast. I loved to be in there. The people were the best thing. Uh, the exhibits and the fishdom and promoting the fish hobby and seeing happy people that I didn't even know, just watching them be happy because they were at a fish uh, conference or convention, whatever we called it. It was the second best thing. And then third best thing were the things that I actually gathered for myself, the food, the art, the t-shirts. So, uh, totally satisfied for me. Um, there was another guy that streams, um, Mitchell Norton. Um, he's on our Tennessee Fish Mafia page or Fish Tubers notifications or something. But uh, somewhere, and we we swapped comments a couple of days ago and said we'd see each other there. Mitchell Norton. <clears throat> I'll check that out, Mitchell Norton, because I don't recognize him. Yeah, I hadn't before recently. Yeah, so I, I'm, I can't wait to go back tomorrow. I'm going to search all the live streams for Aquaticon just to see what everybody caught. They even had a little uh, <clears throat> photo booth set up with the repeating Aquaticon logo and a big uh, light for filming. And I got to do a little clip with uh, Fish Room Fever. I think I did that on my phone. He may have done it on his Everything is funny because everything's really fast paced, you know, frenetic. Yeah. I got it. Oh yeah, James had on a big shark tooth. Ah, uh, yeah. And I'll have to clean up the audio. It was so loud in that place. We got some good B-roll there anyway. Yeah. James had his big megalodon tooth on. I saw that. I didn't even tell Charleston Fossil Adventures uh -oh. about that. We got my dating site is up again. Really? Uh... Why are we always yelling? Has <clears throat> getting a lot of goldfinch at his feet are lately. Yeah, us too. And they're lemon yellow. They got the breeding plumage on. Beautiful. Love those birds. Yeah. <clears throat> Pam, I hope you get a lot of dates over there at your dating site. <laughs> right. Well, I, I think it's time to end my stream, though. It is 11.18 here, so. Well, I'm just getting started, Punchy. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for letting me show my art tonight, Pam. I appreciate it. Oh, that. thanks for coming up. This yeah. is my art art stream, so you got to you gotta come up and show your art. On I know, it's because I don't have as much as I used to. Maybe things will change as the summer goes on, but. I'm not painting so much anymore. Oh, you got to get busy. I agree. I love it when I do. I know that. Pam, yeah, I mean, you need to get busy too. Yeah. Get out and do some of those um, um, clean air ones. Yeah. I, I wish I could have done that in Hawaii, but there's only so many minutes in an hour, you know? Yeah. Oh, I did boy, take some photographs. Can I... I it's is stale air a style of painting like stale air <laughs> yeah, I painted I took a picture of it and brought it home and then painted it that would work yeah hmm. anyway I'm gonna say good night everybody 
And right. thanks for coming in. And thanks, Bob. And thanks, Rack. Thank you, ma'am. And good to see you, Bob. We'll see, see you Rack. tomorrow on Bob's stream. Yeah, eight o'clock tomorrow. Check out uh, Kaylor's Aquatics, and and I'll good be a guest. I don't know who else you're gonna have on there, Bob. You're the guest. Okay, I'm in. We have that panel. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Pam's a panel member. I hope that's not a deal breaker. Not at all. And, and anybody okay. that shows up, ask me anything. I'll answer what I want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Okay. Thank good night, everybody. Good night.